Hey y'all, hope everybody's doing well. Today I wanted to make a video of a sleep system that I recently have learned about. And I learned this from a fellow YouTuber. His YouTube channel is Really Big Monkey and all of his videos are titled Fun in the Woods with Dave or David and I can't think of his last name. He has a lot of good videos. Check him out, Really Big Monkey here on YouTube. Um, and what he had shared was a video about the sleep system known as the Ranger Roll or Ranger Taco. Had never heard of this system before. And uh, I like the concept of it because it's very lightweight. Uh, the items that it consists of are very multifunctional and it only consists of three things. And that is a poncho. This is the military issue poncho. A, some people call it a all weather blanket. Some people call it a Mylar blanket, some call it a survival blanket, or even uh, a space blanket. And I'm not talking about that little thing that's folded up with a million folds in it. When you take it out of the pack, you'll never get it back in. I'm talking about a true all-weather survival blanket or uh, Mylar blanket. And the brand of this one is Arcturus. And uh, so far, this has been the best one that I used because the one that I had before, all the grommets tore in it if you had to build any type of shelter. And it just it wasn't that great of a space blanket. Uh, it worked, but I found one even better. And you'll also need the third item is a military blanket or better known as the Wooby. Uh, again, like I said, this is very lightweight and you could use all three of these for different things. Raining and you have to travel, you have a poncho, uh, you have a space blanket to get you warm if you need that, and then you have the blanket or the poncho liner, what that basically is, is a poncho liner. Um, it's what it is, a poncho liner, military. So. I believe the best sleep system ever designed is the MSS sleep system, which consists of three things, the summer bag, the modular bag, and also the outer cover, which is known as the Gore-Tex Bivy. Uh, very portable. Uh, you can take it anywhere. It sets up in a matter of seconds by simply unrolling it, but it is a bit cumbersome and uh, it's kind of heavy. This system here will not keep you as comfortable as the MSS system. I have literally slept in snow with the MSS sleep system um, and stayed toasty warm the whole time. This one will not keep you as warm, but this thing here will keep you alive when it's cold outside. I think it's rated around the 40s to 50 degree temperatures. Uh, I want to try this thing out tonight. We're, it's cold weather here right now in Mississippi. Um, I think it got down last night to 40 something degrees. Uh, it's about right at 50 degrees this morning and it's getting cold at night, like I said. So I want to try this out for you tonight. But I wanted to show you the layout of it and the concept of it and then tonight we'll try it out. So I'm going to lay this thing out and show you the whole idea of how this thing works. For the sake of this video, I'm going to set this up on the light colored ground. I don't want the dark colors to contrast uh, if I try to do this in leaves or things like that. And normally I would pile up leaves for some cushioning for added comfort. So the first thing we're going to need for the Ranger Roll Ranger Taco is your poncho. Make sure that you put the outer uh, the outer shell of the poncho to the ground. Just like you were putting this on your body to cover yourself. Just stretch this out. And what the poncho will serve as, as your Gore-Tex cover, bivy, uh, waterproof uh, covering. Just like the MSS sleep system has its bivy, that's what the poncho does. Okay, next we're going to need the space blanket or the Mylar blanket. Make sure that we face the reflective side up towards us. You could tie these together if you wanted to. Some people do that, that I've read about, but if you needed a poncho, you know, quickly, you would have to untie uh, this system. I choose not to, I choose to keep it rolled up. Ever since I've learned about it, I just keep it rolled up together and that way I could use them separately, okay? And what this Mylar blanket does, it helps trap in our body heat. Now we need the Wooby or the military blanket, poncho liner, whichever you choose to call it. I have a slight breeze, I should have Tried to spread this thing out facing that way. Okay. All 
All right, there we go. Now, here's the reason it's called the Ranger Taco. It's because I'm gonna pull this thing over a little bit so this will be in the center of the camera frame. Something like that. We just rolled it over. And we have ourselves a sleep system, a taco, <laughs> or a ranger roll, whichever one you prefer to call this. Now, what I like to do is snap, the poncho snaps together to help also trap in the body heat. You'll also want to tie off your hood that's on the poncho in case it starts raining so no moisture or water gets in there. And that's basically it. We climb inside. Of course, if this thing is snapped together, you'll have to enter from one end. Uh, Dave shows one way on his video that he just basically put, he gets in and he just pulls it up on him. Uh, I like to lay it down and climb in from the side I'm gonna use as the top. Okay, so tonight what I wanna do is, I wanna wear something that I wouldn't expect to be caught off guard. You know, that's usually when an emergency happens. That's usually when we need items like these is when we're totally caught off guard. So I'm just gonna wear everyday clothes, something like maybe a t-shirt, a pair of tennis shoes, uh, just a pair of jeans, something that I would just be out, you know, on my daily activity on. And not, I'm not gonna bulk up with clothes, not gonna put a lot of layers on, just something to see how warm this system can keep us in a survival, bug out type situation. So we're gonna try this thing out tonight and you'll see the simple clothes that I'll be wearing. So what I have here is the Ranger Roll or Ranger Taco. Um, as you can see, I have my poncho is on the bottom. Then the survival blanket, mylar, thick mylar blanket. Uh, I have added a inflatable pad, one for hiking, camping, things like that, just for comfort. It's very small, fits in your pack so easy, uh, very lightweight, and I added that for comfort. And then the wooby itself, the military blanket. I've also included and then a self-inflating pillow, and we're gonna use that and see how it does. It's 42 degrees tonight here in my neck of the woods. Now what I wanna do is fold this over. I wanna snap the buttons on the poncho. That'll keep it closed or keep the heat closed in a little better than just trying to cover up with it. So I'm gonna snap these together. I'm not gonna start at the very top. Okay, now I've got it all snapped together, which should help me to keep the heat in. The only thing, I, problem I think I'm gonna have is my pillow's gonna wanna slide out. So, I'm gonna take my shoes off. You have to basically put this thing on. You don't just get in it and snap it up. You might wanna stick your shoes in here to keep the dew off, keep them dry. We just climb into this thing. There's several ways to do that, but this is the way I choose. And I just snap this one, unsnapped it. You could always just snap it back. Okay. I'm gonna leave my shoes out for now, just to see. Turn my light off. <sighs> this is actually quite comfortable. Of course, the inflatable air mattress and pillow really help. I could stay out here all night in this thing, 42 degrees.
Well, I'll be honest with you. This thing, huh, I think I dozed off for a minute. Uh, this thing will keep you alive. It may not be the absolute top of the line, sleeping bag, things like that, but I promise you this thing would keep you alive, especially on a 42 degree night. Now I wanna show you how to prepare your Ranger Roll, Ranger Taco, uh, to pack it up in your bag. Uh, now, while I was laying this out a while ago, I think I said I, I like to roll them up together. Let me correct that. What I meant was I like to roll all three pieces up separately. For the simple fact, if I need a poncho on the fly, really quick like, I don't want to have to pull out my ranger roll, take this apart, and then use the poncho. I want to be able to grab that poncho and throw it on quickly. So that's why I keep these individually wrapped in my go bag. Uh, so, here's the way I put it in my pack if I'm going to leave it together like this, okay? I'm going to take the hood and fold it over in the middle. Next, I'm going to take this and fold it in half lengthwise. And I'm going to do it one more time. Fold it in half lengthwise. This will make it small and compactable if you choose to leave this together which is not a bad idea. But if I'm gonna travel, I'm not gonna travel in this, I'm gonna need a poncho by itself if it's raining outside. Now, we just take and tight roll this together. Get all the air out of it. You might want to have some type of bungee cord, um, paracord something prepared in advance to tie this up and hold it together. Now, you could put this in the bottom of a pack. Yeah, it's not very small, but it's a whole lot smaller than the MSS sleep system. I didn't explain this earlier in the video, but the reason that I like the Ranger Roll or Ranger Taco so well is because it is ideal for a go bag or get home bag, some type of emergency situation. I always keep a go bag in my car. And the reason I don't call it a bug out bag, or I guess you could call it a get home bag, but my whole idea is to go, 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 go. I'm not out there to drink coffee. I'm not out there to camp. I'm not out there to sightsee. I am out there to get home in, a mer in an emergency type situation. Now, if I'm in a situation where, as they say, the poop has hit the fan and there's just chaos, everybody's running around crazy, I'm going to do my best, number one, to avoid people. I'm going to take every back street, I'll go through the woods. I'm going to do my best to stay away from people. And in so doing, if I am sleeping at night and I hear people coming, well, I'm not going to greet them and ask them to come over and camp with me, no. My whole idea, con uh, idea on that and concept of that is to get out of there and go, 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 go. I'm not going to take my poncho and build a shelter and have to you know, worry about if somebody's coming. Take that down, time to do that and to go. No, what I want to do is jump out of this thing, roll it up, and take off. You know, How long would that take? Maybe six seconds, something like that. It, you know, In the dark, I don't know how long it would take me to get a poncho down and get it ready to go. So this thing just serves the purpose in just about every way. Multi-purpose, uh, can get, you know, you can lay it out in just a matter of maybe a minute and have it ready to sleep in. And if you need to go, it's ready to go with you. Uh, packable, light, no problem, uh, things like that. So that's why I like the Ranger Roll. Uh, I will share later my go get home bag type thing. But the whole concept of that would be to my top priority to go get out of there to get home to my family. Nothing else would matter but to get home to my family. And that's why I like the Ranger Roll, the Ranger Taco. It will do that as far as a sleeping system. I cannot carry the MSS in a situation like that. Number one, it'll weigh me down because it's heavy, it's cumbersome. And the people seeing me with that would know that I might be prepared and they might attack me and try to take that from me. So I want to be as low key as possible and to try to slip out, slip around and to get home ASAP. 
I appreciate you watching. I'm sorry that I've taken up all your time. Therefore, that's all the time that I have today. I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, please let me know. And until next time, as I always say, see y'all later.